This is Sean from BodlerArtDesign.com and in this tutorial I'll be showing how I like to use Photoshop to create a rusted metal texture. Of course as always we are going to start with a new blank document. And first thing you're going to want to do is pick some sort of kind of mid-range gray and fill your layer with that. And what we're going to want to do is add some noise to that. I uh, usually like around 35% and you want to go uniform and monochrome on that. And then actually what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing again. So you can just click that uh, first drop menu to repeat your previous filter. We're going to hide that second noise layer for right now for later use. Next thing you're going to want to do is uh, pick yourself a nice rusty brown color. Uh, I like something a little bit more in the dark red range. Kind of an orangey dark red. And you're going to want to fill a layer with that color. That's, all right. And then we're going to click overlay. And that's actually a little more brown than I like. So I think I'm going to in here and push that down into the red spectrum a little bit more. Do that instead. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to create another layer. And if you don't already have them installed, go out to the internets and just do Photoshop free splatter brushes and download yourself some splatter brushes. While you're at it, if you don't have any already installed, also get yourself a pack of grunge brushes for later, and I'll, I'll show you what, uh, what those are for in a later step. Once those are installed in your Photoshop, on your new layer that you created with that same brown selected, go get yourself some of your splatter brushes. Just kind of have some and just have some fun creating some splatter. And what you can want to do is then set your that layer to overlay. And you'll start to see some of that texture come through. And I even like to sometimes create more than one using a different combination of different splatters uh, because when they when the effect multiplies on itself and overlaps it, it gives it a nice a nice uh, multi-textured look. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go back to our hidden layer and now we're going to blur it. Doesn't have to be a lot. Something like a one or two pixel depending on your resolution should work. I'm going to go three on this one. And again, we're just going to click overlay on that. And it's a pretty subtle effect, but it just kind of blurs out your uh, objects a little bit. Just gives it a nice little, slightly smoother texture. Okay. Next thing I like to do is actually creating another layer. And this is why I wanted those grunge brushes. I like to go out, grab a grunge brush or two. find one you like. And this time I want to grab a black. And I just want to dirty this up a little bit. Just add some dirt just to help age the effect that we're, we're going for. Oh, that one's a little bit too cracked. I don't like that. And obviously sometimes you just have to play around until you find the, the look that you're looking for. I like to set that to a, like a multiply usually so that you still get some of the rust color coming through. 
And if you're all happy with all that, you can go with that by itself, but uh, I like to just add a lighting effect. just to give it a little bit more realistic setting. And there you go. Very easy, only a few minutes to create a nice kind of rusty, beat up metal texture. Thank you and enjoy.